Hey everybody, I'm Mr. Math Blog. I'll be helping you this year in your math class. So this is our first lesson for our sixth grade class, lesson 1-1, and our lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Let me show you that real quick. Here's MrMathBlog.com. This is our first lesson. So right here, right after fifth grade, I'm going to be loading in sixth grade math right here. So some of you guys, I've had you in third grade, fourth grade, and fifth grade right here. And so uh, sixth grade will be loaded as soon as I get done with this video right here, okay? All right, so um, there's our common core strand for our cool teachers that we have. And then uh, our essential question is, how do we divide uh, multi-digit numbers? Okay, here we go. So, hey, recall when we um, uh, were dividing in our prior classes, um, the, the number that, we're uh, that we divide with is called our divisor, and the number we're dividing into is called our dividend, and then our answer is always called our quotient. So here is our dividend, here is our divisor, here is our quotient right here, okay? Remember those words right there? So our quotient is always our answer, you guys. So... So when watching a cartoon, the frames of the film blend together to form a moving image. Can you see this guy's uh, arm going up, going up, going up? So it looks like he, it's, it's moving as they go together. So a cartoon that lasts just 92 seconds requires 2,208 frames. Here's four frames right here. How many frames would you see each second when watching a cartoon? cartoon? So what we're going to do is divide that 2,208 divided by 92. Well, it's always good to estimate, you guys. So let's estimate using compatible numbers right here, okay? So nice compatible numbers for 2,208 is 2,000, and a compatible number for 92, well, that's close to 100. So if we divide 2,000 divided by 100, and I like this trick. If this ends in two zeros and this has two zeros on it, you can take those off right there, and then you're left with 20 divided by 1. Well, 20 divided by 1 is 20. Nice little trick right there. Those are That's what compatible numbers does. So as long as we get an answer that's close to 20, then we know we have a reasonable answer. So let's go ahead and divide, you guys, okay? 92 doesn't go into 22, so we got to go into 220. So so I did that right here. 92 times 2 is 184. Remember how we do this? 2 times 2 is 4. And then there's the 4 right there. And then 2 times 9 is 18. So we write the 18 right there. So 184. So we subtract 220 minus 184. I did that for us also. We get 36. Okay. And then do you remember what we do next right here? What do we do with that? This 8 comes slides right down right there. Remember that right there? So now it's 92 goes into 360. 68. Well, I know 9 times 4 is 36, so 90 times 4 is 36 with a 0. So let's multiply 92 times 4, and that's going to get us exactly 368. So this does not have a remainder right here. So our quotient up here is our answer, 24. Now let's uh, check that with our estimate right here. And since uh, the estimate, which was 20, is close to our answer up here, 24, then our answer is a reasonable answer right there. Okay, let's answer the question right here. So we're going to see how many frames. We're going to see 24 frames each second when we watch a cartoon. Wow. Hey, uh, we can write a, a remainder with an R. Remember doing that? Or we can write it as a fractional part of the divisor, or we can write it as a decimal. So for example, if we had 131 divided by 5, well, it goes in there 26 times with a remainder of 1, so we can call it 26R1, or we can do 26 and 1 fifth. We divide it as a fraction, 1 fifth by our uh, divisor right there. Or we can change it to a decimal and make it 26.2, okay? Today we're going to use uh, this representation and this representation, okay, in the rest of this lesson right here. So here we go. Let's divide 12,749 divided by 18. So let's go ahead and estimate here. Now you can... You can make all kinds of estimates. Just make sure you make them end in zero. I think I made this go 12,800 and this 20 right here, okay? That'll at least give us an estimate. And then you can think, okay, this zero takes off this zero right here. So then we're left with 2 goes into 12 six times into 8 four times. But don't forget, we got a zero, so it goes into zero, zero times. So 640. So as long as we get an answer that's close to 640, then we know we got, uh, we're got we doing the right things here. So here we go. We're going to divide. Okay, so 18 goes into 127. Okay, so I did it two ways to show you that it's six, you guys. Well, it's not six. 
Now, in fact, if we multiply it at times 6, 18 times 6 is 108. Over here, I like doing this way. This is the way I learned, and probably your teacher learned this method right here. Well, here's 18 right here, 10 plus 8. And then uh, we can distribute the 6 through 10, uh, 6 times 10 is 60, 6 times 8 is 48, so 60 plus 48 is 108. All right, now if we did that, we get something greater than 18 when we subtract it. So we're going to do one more 18, so 18 times 7. So 18 times 7, I like doing it over here, so here's 18, so 7 times 10 is 70, 7 times 8 is 56. So add those together, we get 126, and that's closer right there. So seven times, okay? So we try six, it wasn't big enough, so try seven. That, that just gets us right there. Okay, so when we subtract, we get one, okay? And then we slide the next number down right there, okay? Now we gotta do this. How many times does 18 go into 14? It doesn't, so we gotta put a zero. It goes in there zero times. Remember, our answer is gonna be in hundreds right here. So if we didn't put the zero, we wouldn't get an answer that's close to 640. So it's actually 700 and some change. 700, uh, I think it's eight or five, I forgot what it was, we'll see. Okay, so we're gonna subtract 14 minus zero is 14, and then we slide the, the nine down, there we go, and then now we do 18 times what is 149? Well, look, here's 18 times 7 is 126. So I bet if we put one more 18 in there, 18 times 8, you can do it old school right here and get 144. Or we can just add another 18 to 18 times 7. That will give us 18 times 8. So 18 times 7 is um, uh, one more would give us 18 times 8, give us 144. So you can just take the last answer and add another 18 anyways. So we're going to get a remainder of 5 when we subtract right there. Okay, so, so here we're going to write this as 708 with remainder 5. Okay, let's check our answer. So what we're going to do is multiply the whole number part of the quotient, the 708, by the divisor. Okay, so 708 by... Um, uh, by 18. And then what we're going to do is get this answer and then add in the remainder at the end right there, okay? So let's multiply the 8 through first, you guys. So there's 8. 8 times 8 is 64. I carried that. 8 times 0 plus 6 is another 6. And then 8 times 7 is 56. Now when we multiply this 1, I like to put an X right here because now we're moving in the tens column. So some teachers like to put a 0 right there or an X. It doesn't matter. So let's put, I'm putting x right there. Okay, and then we multiply the 1 times 708, and we get 708. Then we're going to add those together right there, and when we add them together, don't forget we have to add in the remainder, so when we add in the remainder, it should check out to um, our dividend, which was right there, okay? All right, so uh, 12,400, uh, or 749 divided by 18 is 708 with remainder 5, okay? All right, let's try this one. 59,990 divided divided by 280 and write the remainder this time as a fraction. Okay, so let's estimate, you guys. Okay, this number is close to 60,000. This number is close to 300. And 60,000 divided by 300, well, check this out. These two zeros will take off these two zeros, so we're left with 600 divided by 3. Well, 600 divided by 3 is 200, okay? So if we get an answer that's somewhere around 200, then we know we're in the ballpark there. So here we go. All right, so 280, uh, we're going to divide it into 599. Well, I know 280 times 2 will get me something close right here. So here's 280 times 2, old school, my way. Or we can distribute 200 plus 80 and do 200 times uh, 2 is 400, and then 80 times 2 is 160, and add those together, and we get 560. Okay, so five's, uh, uh, minus 5 is 0, 9 minus 6 is 3, 9 minus 0 is 9, and then I think I slid the next 9 down also, yep. All right, so now we now I know 280 times 2 is something too big. It's 560, so we're just going to do times 1 right there. Okay, and then we're going to subtract, and when we subtract and slide the next number down, then... Uh, 280, uh, this time it's going to be times 4. So 280 times 4, I did it 200 plus 80 times 4. 4 times 200 is 800. 
4 times 80 is 320. I know 4 times 8 is 32, so add that 0 right there. And then 800 plus 320 is 1,120, okay? So our remainder is going to be 70 right there, okay? Now it says write the remainder as a fraction. So let's go ahead and write that as a fraction. So it's the remainder divided by the divisor, 280. So in this case, it's going to be 70 over 280. Well, well that's going to be simplified right there, okay? Now, these both end in zero. So let's look at this number, 7 and 28. What numbers go into 7 and 28? 7 does. So since they both end in zero, we're going to divide the top and bottom by 70. Okay, and then, um, and so 7 goes into 7 once, 7 goes into 28 four times, and the zeros cancel, so it reduces to 1 fourth. So it's 214 and 1 fourth. Okay, now I didn't write that until just a little bit later. Let's compare our estimate with the quotient, okay? So our estimate is 200 right there. So since our estimate is 200, that's close to our quotient of 214 and 1 fourth right there. Okay, so our answer is a reasonable answer right there. So 5,990 divided by 280 is 214 and 1 fourth, okay? All right, hey, describe two ways uh, that we can check our answer in example two. Well, we did it one way. It was by comparing our estimate with the quotient. And so since our estimate, which was 200, was close to our answer, 214 and a fourth, we knew that the answer was going to be reasonable. Another way is to multiply the quotient and the divide so if we multiply the quotient right here with the divisor, I did that over here, um, we get 5,900, I'm sorry, 59,920. And then we add the remainder, which was 70 down there, we should get our dividend right there. And check it out, we get our dividend right there. Hey, I hope you guys have a fantastic year and, and good luck this year. Take care.